Ever since Meghan Markle said yes to Prince Harry back in 2017, there's been a buzz of whispers behind the scenes. Some say she's been a yacht girl hanging out with her celebrity crew. But hey, are these tales true or just juicy gossip? Stay connected as we unravel Meghan's and other tales about celebrities known for their yacht adventures. Get ready for a ride full of surprises. There has long been a buzz about Meghan Markle's yacht girl past. Author Kirby Summers even suggested that Meghan had likely crossed paths with Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein before her royal romance with Prince Harry began. Before she stepped into the royal spotlight as the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle was an actress best known for her role on the TV series Suits. Her climb up the social ladder, marked by appearances at high-profile events and mingling with the wealthy elite, fueled rumors of her yacht girl days. The world of entertainment and high society often overlaps, especially in glamorous settings where yachting is a favored pastime. Christopher Jones, who identified himself as a yacht boy, claimed to have known Meghan Markle, asserting that she worked in the yacht industry to entertain clients, including the likes of Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew. But do you know what exactly being a yacht girl entails? According to Urban Dictionary, a yacht girl is an attractive young woman who gains access to luxurious lifestyles by making herself available to wealthy men. In Hollywood, the term essentially means a woman who works as an escort for high-end clientele, not just on yachts, but at any lavish social event. The term Yacht Girls started gaining attention around 2013, during the Cannes Film Festival. But guess what? Its roots go back to 1956, when Grace Kelly married the Prince of Monaco, sparking a trend among the ultra-rich to flaunt their wealth and status through trophy wives and extravagant parties. And when it comes to parties, these billionaire princes don't just settle for ordinary nights out. They elevate the experience by inviting some of the world's most beautiful women to their lavish yachts. Take Saudi Arabia's Prince Mohammed bin Salman, for instance. He famously flew in over 50 women from around the globe to party on his $500 million super yacht. Many people have accused Meghan Markle of being involved in the yachting world, with rumors suggesting she was a notable figure in that scene. There are claims of topless photos of her on a yacht, and some people have pointed to an old photo of Markle on a yacht as proof of her being a former yacht girl. Additionally, a blind item hinted that the former actress was available for rent. One tweet stated, if you see B actresses post scantily clad photos of themselves on social media, this is often a calm to them that this person is available for rent for a weekend of yachting, and included a photo of Markle in a swimsuit. Megan's previous marriage to film producer Trevor Engelson is also scrutinized in this context. Some speculate that her connections through Engelson introduced her to elite circles, potentially involving yachting activities. However, these claims remain speculative and lack substantial evidence. In 2016, a Toronto native named Adam Hahn invited Megan to Yacht Week in Croatia. He wrote to her, Any chance you'd be in the market looking to join my friends and me for Yacht Week? If this message is genuine, it might appear he was trying to involve her in yachting activities, but she never responded. Megan did visit Croatia two years before that tweet, but there's no evidence connecting her to yachting events. Some argue that the mainstream media may have a photo of her on a yacht in Phuket, Thailand, allegedly with Prince Andrew, arranged by Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein. Author Kirby Summers concluded on Twitter that the Duchess of Sussex is controlled by the same forces that controlled Jeffrey Epstein. Christopher Jones, who identified himself as a yacht boy, publicly claimed that Meghan was a yacht girl and that photos of Meghan and Prince Andrew together exist online. The rumors swirling around Prince Andrew are certainly eyebrow-raising to say the least, from being labeled as a layabout to a notorious womanizer. He's earned himself the less than flattering nickname, Randy Andy. But perhaps the most damning controversy was his alleged involvement in an underage sex ring. Despite strong denials from both Prince Andrew and the royal family, the allegations, including claims of involvement in orgies with girls as young as eight years old, have cast a dark shadow over him. His association with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein certainly hasn't helped matters. Amidst all the scandal, there's even the bizarre story of him showing up at Courtney Love's house at 1am in search of female company. Such incidents only add fuel to the fire of speculation surrounding his behavior. Now here's where it seems more convincing that Meghan Markle was a yacht girl. Do you remember when Virginia Roberts Dufresne's lawyers reportedly wanted to subpoena Meghan Markle as a witness? Of course, if Meghan wasn't on Epstein's yacht at the same time as Andrew, why would Virginia's lawyers be interested in grilling her? But the royal family might have paid Virginia Roberts to settle out of court possibly to prevent further scandal about Meghan's past life from coming to light. While this is purely speculative, there are indeed records indicating that Gouffre's lawyers wanted to subpoena Meghan. Adding fuel to the fire, the hashtag charlatan duchess surfaced on Twitter in October 2018, accompanied by misogynistic tweets, photoshopped images, and poorly faked texts that hypersexualized Meghan. 
One user derisively called her the Duchess of Sex, while another tweeted, putting a crown on a whore does not make it royalty. Rumors have long swirled around celebrities like Ariana Grande, Bella Hadid, Selena Gomez, and Emily Ratajkowski regarding their alleged involvement in yachting trips and elite social circles. Ariana Grande once made headlines when rumors swirled that she canceled a career gig to hop on a yacht because the payday was too good to pass up. It's the kind of decision that sparks curiosity and speculation among fans and critics alike. Bella Hadid, the reigning queen of the runway, is no stranger to the glitz and glam of luxury yachts. With her status as a supermodel, she naturally rubs elbows with the affluent crowd and graces high-profile events aboard these floating palaces. Some whisper that her connections in the yachting world played a role in catapulting her to the top of the modeling industry. Even in her earlier days, when she was known as Baldwin, before tying the knot with Bieber, she reportedly frequented many of these wealthy yachting trips. Some speculate that Bella's connections in the yachting world helped pave her path to the top of the modeling game. Next is Selena Gomez, who's also dipped her toes into the yachting world on occasion. Let's rewind to that infamous New Year's trip to Dubai in 2014. Selena, Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Shea Mitchell, Josephine Scriver, and Devin Windsor jetted off to Dubai for what appeared to be the ultimate girl's getaway. Now rumors flew faster than the private jets that whisked them away. Some whispered that Kendall Jenner orchestrated the trip to steal Justin Bieber's attention away from Selena, but the real tea? It was reportedly funded by influential executives in Dubai who spared no expense in showing the girls a good time. And then there's Emily Ratajkowski's revelations about her early career experiences, which shed light on the murky world of celebrity yachting. In her memoir, My Body, she recounts being paid $25,000 to a company now disgraced financier Joe Lowe to the Super Bowl. Her manager simply stated that Lowe just liked to have famous men and women around. Radajowski admits she was clueless about what was expected of her, unsure of the rules or the duration of her stay at the event. She shares anecdotes of attending star-studded Coachella festivals on someone else's dime, having drinks covered at clubs, and rubbing shoulders with Oscar-winning actors and after parties long before she achieved celebrity status herself. In 2017, Emily stirred the pop further by posting a photo on Instagram from the Cannes Film Festival, hinting at the presence of Bella Hadid and Hailey Bieber aboard a yacht, a subtle nod to the infamous world of yacht parties. Yachting at Cannes isn't a recent phenomenon. It's been a fixture since at least 2013, according to Ellie Nahas, who was sentenced for running a prostitution ring. He describes a scene of luxury yachts filled with models, drinks flowing, and envelopes exchanged at the end of the night. While rumors abound about celebrities engaging in yachting or career advancement, few openly admit to such practices. But the reality is that the entertainment industry is cutthroat, and not all celebrities have equal opportunities. Allegedly, participating in yachting offers a chance to network with influential figures and provides financial support during lean times between gigs. It's left for you to decide in the comments section if, indeed, Meghan Markle could have been a yachting girl.